Hello and welcome all. This is Josh One, and we're here at Battle of Frazeroth once again. Now, uh, we're taking a second look. I know, I know. We're taking a second look at Balance Druid because they have redone a lot of stuff on them, and I, I do think it's worth a second take. They, um, they were definitely lacking in the alpha early beta before the rework due to the uh, missing legendary talents and artifact talents and stuff. So, um, I think they've done a pretty good job at redesigning it a little bit, and I wanted to sh share all that with you. So, first up, some of the uh, changes are first to the empowerments. Um, as you can see, it makes, grants your star surge, grants your lunar and solar empowerment, which increases your damage of your next lunar strike by 79%, reducing its cast time 15%, and it causes you your, and solar empowerment causes your solar wrath to explode for an additional 39% of damage to all nearby enemies and it also reduces cast time by th by 15% and you can accumulate up to three of each of these impairments which is actually pretty cool now I'm um, also just on a side note the solar wrath also has a chance to um, give you lun uh, lunar wrath and lunar wrath has a chance to I mean lunar strike rather has you has a chance to give you solar em empowerment so not star surge is not the only way you you can get um, empowerment now you can get them either by by solar and by a uh, lunar so it's uh, it works out pretty well so you're constantly you're more or less constantly getting the empowerments getting that extra bit of damage and the reduced cast time which is always nice uh, next up they've redone mastery a little bit and increases your star surge and star fall damage it also increases the effects of lunar and, sol and, and stellar empowerment by an additional 40%, and it increases the damage of solar empowerment by 20%. Uh, this is all very, very nice. Um, it's a nice uh, change. I'm glad they've uh, done this. Uh, but that's it basically for the passives um, for the mastery. Just wanted to let you see that. And now on to the talents, which have got a few changes. Nothing major, but a few. Um, now I'm running Warrior of a Loon, which is on a 45 second cooldown. It makes actually makes your next three Lunar Strikes instant cast, and they generate 40% additional Astral Power. This is actually really nice. Um, it is off the global cooldown, so you can macro it to a uh, Lunar Strike. So you, you can just hit it, and then bam, bam, bam. You've got the you've got the you've got the damage. You've got the AOE damage of it. You've got the um, astral power and everything else to, to move to move on it's really nice I think it works uh, it syncs up really well uh, next up I have taken renew just because running around and star filing things and gathering things up and you know things hitting on you it, it hurts after a while so you're gonna need it you're gonna need an instant heal now and then and speaking of that I've also taken guardian affinity which gives me thick hide which reduces all my damage taken by six percent you also learn thrash iron fur and frenzied regeneration but I'm not really worried about them I mean, you can go back and forth but really I took this just for the reduced damage I think it uh I think it works out best uh, especially for pulling things when you're leveling uh, next up we have mass team because counting things around and stuff is the way the boom can way so you've got to have this in my opinion uh, next up in the 75 tree we have soul of the forest which increases the damage bonus from your lunar and solar empowerment by 30 percent and reduces the astral power cost of starfall by 10 and since we will be uh, since in leveling you will be using uh, starfall a whole hell of a lot um i think this is the uh, best talent for this i do think um twin moons which uh Gives your moon fire deals 20 increased damage and also hits nearby players. Kind of gives you another dot. Um, I think this and Chosen of the Moon will probably be better, for more better, um, more better uh, English. Will be definitely be better than uh, Soul of the Forest when it comes to um, uh, dungeons and raids and, and things of that nature. Uh, in the 90 row, we have uh, Star Lord, which is now I just want to show you this real quick. This is actually a pretty good count. Uh, you have Star Surge, and Starfoil will grant you 3% haste for 15 seconds, and it stats up to three times. You gain a stat, but when you each time you gain a stack, it doesn't refresh the dur duration. So, really, if you want to use this, what you want to do is you want to pull your astral power, and then just plug um, 
your star sword, your star fall, you know, three times as, or as quick as you can. Get that 9% extra haste and then go wild on, on one of the other um, buttons, one of the other, you know, solar or, or lunar strike. It works out really well. But um, for leveling, I think uh, I'm even running Stellar Drift, which increases Starfall's radius by 30% and its damage by 25%. And also allows you to cast while moving while you're within the Starfall circle. This is absolutely wonderful for kiting things and just, you know, especially with um, using Lunar Strike and stuff. You just sit there, get them, hit the Starfall, run around, and, you know, you're hitting them, your main target and you're hitting the other targets. They're all gathered up. It's freaking great. Um, uh, let's see, and in the 100 row, we have, uh, Shooting Stars, which, um, is pretty nice, but I actually like New Moon, these two are actually, um, Fury Moon hasn't really changed, it personally does, Shooting Stars hasn't changed that much either, but New Moon is a new talent, and it's, in my opinion, pretty damn nice. Uh, it starts off, um, basically you New Moon, what, what it does is it has a 30 second recharge, you have a max of 3 uh, chargers of this. Now what, it, now what it does is it deals damage, and when you click it once, it goes from New Moon, it does the damage, and then it says Half Moon. And once you hit that again, it, the cast time goes up a little bit, I think it goes up to like 1.8 seconds. And you cast that, and it does it does even more arcane, even more arcane damage. I think it does around two, little over two thousand at that point. And then it goes to full moon. Now full moon gives you, I believe it's it's about the same cast time as uh, lunar strike, which is I um maybe a little bit more. I think it's two point four seconds or something. It's a, it's a decently long cast, but when it hits that, it throws down. It's you can you be, you should be able to see it up in the side here. Uh, with some of the combat footage, um, it throws a, basically you just throw a gigantic moon at somebody. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Um, it's an awesome animation. You just throw the moon at somebody. It does a little over 4,000 damage. Um, the nice thing about this, of course, is you can use this with, uh, you can use, um, you know, any of your haste building abilities with this to pull the charges and then just hit it off real quick and just do a crap ton of damage in a very short amount of time to somebody. So that's why I'm running this. I think uh, f definitely for um, leveling, I do think it's better than the other two. I, just for the simple, uh, it, since it does generate astral power also, and just for the overall damage and yeah, the cool factor because it does look pretty cool. Um, for the war mode talents, I am running that nation, of course. And um, we have Crescent Burn, which using Moonfire on the target already affected by Moonfire's damage over time eff effect deals 35% additional direct damage. This is quite nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Moonkin Form also. Next up, we have Iron Feather Armor. Excuse me. Moonkin Form also increases your armor by an additional 25% and reduces your chance to be critically hit by melee attacks by 20%. This is all. This is nice, especially for uh, leveling. Um, when you're out in the world, getting, like I said, you're counting stuff. You're going to be hitting stuff. Anything that reduces your damage and gives you more armor, I, in my book, is a damn good thing. Uh, next up, we have Deep Roots, which increases the amount of damage required to cancel your entangling roots by 100%. This is nice because, you know, if you've got something, maybe a um, rare or something, you've got them entangled. And, you know, you want to get that extra few feet away so you can get something cast off. Or if you've got dots and stuff on it, it, it won't necessarily, um, you know, go off right away. You'll get a tick or two before it, before they break out of it. Which is actually, which is nice in my opinion. It's a good, um... It's a good CC equivalent. I like that. I like what they've done with it. And in PvP, I think it will be quite useful also. Though I do think there is a few that, um... Now, these are definitely, uh... They have some real, um... Bene some of these have some real benefits to, uh... Your allies and stuff if you're out uh, doing par in parties and stuff, so which, which is nice. But, um... Really, I, I think f uh, for leveling, I think these are the best three talents, in my humble opinion, uh, to go for. Now, with all that being said, there, the um, the rework is actually really nice. Um, as you can see in the footage and stuff, uh, you can keep up your um, uh, lunar and solar empowerments uh, quite nicely. Your damage, you're constantly putting out damage. Um, your mana's not really an issue. You can heal your. You've got all the um, 
uh, ability to be able to heal yourself on the go and do damage on the go. You've got you've got your defensive cooldowns work out really well. Um, I'm glad that um, Warrior Balloon is off the global cooldown. I think that makes a huge difference. Um, and uh, New Moon is a very nice new talent. It's quite cool to look at, from, and it's also quite uh, quite nice. It's a really nice damage dealer, especially if you can get it um, if you get it uh, coordinated with your um, with let's say a um, hero hero or just your own celestial alignment, or even just the if you happen to be, if you want to run uh, Star Lord and get the haste buff from that, any kind of haste buff or anything. Oh, benefit the hell out of this um, ability um, for new, new Moon. So I think New Moon will benefit greatly from any haste. I think haste is going to be one of our biggest uh, things this expansion for um, balance. I think it's, um, so. Can't wait to see what people do. Outrageous, you know, one right after another. You know, haste and everything else. You know, super haste builds and stuff. Can't s wait to see what they what they do with that. But uh, that's it. Um, thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe. And as always, have a good day. And I will see you next time.